Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And we've recently had a serum bundle on our website, just go gangbusters. A lot of people picking up the synth with a lot of extra preset packs attached with it. So I wanted to give a quick tutorial for some of those people who are looking to get into the synth, love the preset packs, but are just looking to get started with the synthesizer itself. So today I'm gonna to be giving you a quick and dirty jump up drum and bass style bass inside of Serum. But as always, if you're interested in Serum or that bundle, links in the video description if you wanna check it out. That being said, let's jump into it. All right, everybody, so as I just said, this is gonna be a quick and dirty tutorial, one that doesn't take too long, super easy to do, and even absolute beginners can follow along with it. What we're gonna be doing is making this kind of large and in charge drum, jump up drum and bass, bass patch. So it's actually super easy to do. What we wanna do is, let me just go ahead. I always like to duplicate the channel, jump in, open up Serum and oop, menu, initialize patch. And this is where we are. And we know where we need to go. So I'm gonna just make the GUI a little bit bigger and let's jump into it. All right, so as we're making bass here, I wanna just go ahead and turn on that sub and I wanna go direct out. And also now we can even go down an octave if we wanna make it even lower. I'm gonna leave it on zero for now, but just remember you can drop it down an octave there later on if you want. Let's jump in here to analog and let's just ch choose something real quick, like maybe MB saw. Let's change the wave table position. And let's go ahead and let the patch play while we change this, just so we can hear what it's actually doing to the sound. All right, if you click right here, you can change this to bend plus minus, and then go ahead and open that up as well. Let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like. Very, very cool. The next thing we wanna do is go ahead and turn on oscillator two. We can just use this sawtooth, that's perfectly fine. Let's drop this down an octave though. And you know what, just for funsies, let's go ahead and just pull the fine tuning down a little bit and push the fine tuning up here a little bit, just a little, little bit. So we, it's not like completely noticeable that it's out of tune, but just to kind of give it a little bit of extra character. All right, and from there, turn on that filter. We're just gonna be using the MG Low 12. That's perfectly fine. I'm gonna turn down the cutoff and let's boost up that drive. And we wanna make sure to click right here so that second oscillator is sent there as well. And this is where the magic happens. You see this unison number is set to one. If we click that to two and click that to two, we now have that wide, thick, fat bass we were looking for. And just make sure your cutoff is kind of low. You don't want too much of that stereo spread happening. There's kind of like a sweet spot where the cutoff is quite low. And there's just a little bit of that stereo stuff happening. And then when it's really open, you're just getting that huge kind of distorted synth sound as well. And like I said, drop that down an octave and you've really got something cooking. Now, if you wanted to, you could come over here and click this LFO and you'll get this kind of uh, four-way arrow. Just click that and drag it onto the cutoff and then pull that down and set the rate to, you know, a quarter will probably do. And that was just give it a little bit of motion. Obviously, you can control how much of that is gonna happen. And you can do that inside of the effects matrix or right inside of this as well, right here next to the actual dial. 
And really the last thing you need to do is jump into the effects, turn on that distortion, pull down the mix and boost up the drive. And you want to do that to taste. That's pretty much it. So you can have a lot of fun automating that cutoff parameter inside of your DAW. And that's it. Quick and dirty jump up drum and bass style bass patch inside of Serum for all those people who just picked up the Serum bundles on Plugin Boutique. Anyway, as always, I'm Joshua Casper. Links in the video description if you want to find out more details about those bundles. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.